consider two registers R1 and R2. R1 is 30 ohm, R2 is 90 ohm. Assume you have 8 amperes of current flowing here and you are asked to find out current through 30 ohm and current through 90 ohm. Generally, we used to use voltage current divider rule for this, but the shortcut here what you have to use is divide 8 ampere in the ratio 3 is to 1, not 1 is to 3, because ratio of the resistances is inversely proportional to ratio of the current. Therefore, divide 8 ampere in the ratio 3 is to 1, that means you call this as I1, I1 is given by 8 into 8 into what is the ratio 3 is to 1 8 into 3 divided by 3 plus 1 what is 3 plus 1 4 so you will get 4 2s are 8 so therefore i1 must be equal to 3 2s are 6 amperes is that correct right i1 is equal to 6 ampere and what about i2 i2 must be equal to as this is 8 ampere i2 must be equal to 2 ampere see how simple it is Often we will be using this particular shortcut to find out the currents. Got it? Now this is about voltage divider rule and current divider rule. Like this there are plenty of shortcuts in this current electricity chapter. We will be discussing one by one. Right? Anyway, make a note of this. Now we shall move on to few questions based on current electricity. students now let us discuss an IIT level problem and let us discuss the same problem using shortcuts you must know this dear students if the resistance is more in a parallel circuit A and B are parallel to each other resistance A is greater than resistance B then there will be less current in A than in B that I have already explained you this we will be using same concept here look at the question here in the given circuit, values of I, I1, I2, I3, I4 are in amperes respectively 1 1.2, 0.6, 0.6, 0.4, 0.2, 1.5, 0.8, 0.7, 0.3, 0.4, 1.5, 0.6, 0.9, 0.4, 0.5 respectively. Look at this dear students, we have 6 ohm, 6 volt, 1 ohm, this is 8, this is 6 and this is 12. Can you say something which is related to I3 and I4? I3 is definitely greater than I4, do you agree with me? I3 is definitely greater than I4, what is the reason? What is the reason dear students, why I3 is greater than I4? The reason is you have less resistance and more resistance here. And to what extent I3 is double the I4 because the ratio is 1 is to 2, resistance ratio is 1 is to 2, current ratio should be 2 is to 1. Do you agree with me? With this logic, let us try to eliminate few answers. Look at this dear students, I3 must be greater than I4. First thing is 1.2, 0.6, 0.6, this is I, I1, I2, I3, I4. I3 is greater than I4, therefore option A may be correct. I3 is greater than I4 because see here, I3 is greater than I4 and I3 is double I4, therefore option A may be correct. Definitely option B is ruled out, the reason you can see here. This is I3 and that is I4. I3 is 0.2, I4 is 0.4. So, and very importantly, 
i3 must be equal to 2 times i4. Very, very important logic. So, 0.4 we have, 0.2 we, we have. So, i3 must be 0.4, right? i4 must be 0.2. The reason is this is 6 and this is 12. This we have already discussed. Option B is just reverse of that. Coming to option C, we have 0 0.3, 0 0.4. This is impossible. Do you agree with me? Right? And what about point D? Because of course, I 3 must be double the I 4. 0 0.4, 0 0.2. 2 times of 0.2 is 0 0.4. So, this is highly impossible. And option D is also ruled out because this is 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So, that clearly says option A is correct. See, dear students, such a big problem we solve just using common sense. But my intention is not just to give you some answers here. Let me teach you something. Do you agree with me? This is 6 and this is 12. Equivalent of 6 and 12, even though we got the answer, I am explaining this. Equivalent of 6 and 12 is given by, you write 12. Highest is 12 among the two. How many times 6 is 12? 2 times. To that add 1, you will get 3. So, that is equal to 4 ohms. Do you agree with me? This 4 ohms, I am just writing 4 here. This 4 in series with this 4 will give us 8. Do you agree with me? So, this is 8 and this is 8. So, 8 parallel 8 will definitely give us 8 by 2. That is equal to 4. This 4, this full combination will give 4. And 1 ohm we have. 4 plus 1 is 5. 6 divided by 5 is, I repeat, this full combination will give us 4 ohm resistance. To that 4 ohm, we have 1 ohm in series. 4 plus 1, 5. Actually, this is internal resistance. 6 divided by 5, that is I is equal to 6 divided by 5, that is equal to 1.2 amperes. This itself eliminates option C and option D straight away. And this 1.2 will split into two parts. This must be equal to this because this full resistance we got it as 8 and this is also 8. This is 8 and this, this network is 8 and this network is 8. Current should divide equally. Therefore, this should be 0 0.6 and this must be 0 0.6. Because 8 ohm we are dividing into two equal parts. This 0 0.6 should, should be divided into the ratio 1 is to 2. So actually, 1 is to 2 in the reverse ratio. That is, this should be 0 0.4 and this should be 0 0.2. That is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. 2 is to 1 ratio. We got it. See how simple it is. See, what we did here is we just used one basic sense. I3 is greater than I4. That's all. With this, we got the answer. And of course, dear students, uh, for explanation, I would have taken 4 or 5 minutes. But for solving this, you would have taken only 5 or 10 seconds maximum. That's where you should stand. That's where you will be different from the regular students who are preparing on their own. Let us discuss next problem, dear students. The problem is like this. The uniform wire of resistance 10 ohm is bent into a circle and two points at a quarter of circumference apart are connected to a battery of EMF 2.3 volts, internal resistance 1 ohm. Then I1 and I2 are respectively option A 0 0.6 ampere, 0 0.2 amperes. Option B, 0 0.2 ampere, 0 0.6 ampere. Option C, 0 0.3 ampere, 0 0.1 ampere. Option D, 0 0.1 ampere and 0 0.3 ampere. Dear students, if you look at the textbook for the solution for this particular problem, you will have half a page of explanation for this. You don't need to spend so much of time. What you have to do is, you have to just use common sense to solve this. Look at this dear students. What is given? EMF is 2.3 volt. See here, this is 2.3 volt. And internal resistance is 1 ohm. Do you agree with me? See, this is one fourth of the circle, or the ratio of this length to this length is 1 is to 3. Do you agree with me? 
I1 has to travel for lesser distance than I2. Therefore, I1 must be greater than I2. Do you agree with me? Less resistance, more current. That means to say, I1 is equal to 3 times I2. Is that correct? The basic logic is because this is one third, this is one fourth of the circle, the external is three fourth of the circle. I1 is 3 times I2. Therefore, you should search for those options here which will give us I1 3 times I2. You can see here, dear students, I1 is 3 times I2. 0 0.6 is 3 times 0 0.2. A is correct. B is ruled out. 0 0.3 is 3 times 0 0.1. C may be correct. D is ruled out. Now, we have to talk about which among A and C are correct. Because we got A 0 0.6 that is 3 times 0 0.2, C 0 0.3 that is 3 times 0 0.1. Got it? Now, we have reduced our options or half of it. We have 50 percent now, right? Now, let us talk about it and before that you please make a note of this. You can observe one thing these students, you call this as R2 and this is R1. So, R2 is 7.5 and R1 is 2.5. What is the reason for this? This is 1 fourth and this is 3 fourth. The ratio of the resistance is equal to ratio of the length and total is 10. Therefore, what is let us say RP dear students? What is RP resistance? Parallel, parallel resistance that is Rp is equal to which, which is the greatest among these two? R1 is 2.5, R2 is 7.5. Which is greatest among these two? 7.5. Can I write 7.5 as 15 by 2? 15 by 2 divided by how many times 2.5 is 7.5? 3 times. To that add 1, you will get 4. Do you agree with me? Rp is equal to 15 by 8. Any doubts you have? We got Rp is equal to 15 by 8. So, that is the equivalent resistance of this parallel to this. Understood this? Now, we have to this 1 ohm is connected. Now, what is Rt? What is total resistance now? If you observe carefully, Rt is equal to Rt is equal to 1 plus this combination. 1 plus 15 by 8 that is equal to 23 by 8. So, we got total resistance as 23 by 8 ohms. I hope you are following this. Now, what is total current dear students? Total current I is given by I is given by total voltage. What is total voltage? 2.3 divided by divided by 23 by 8 is that correct? 2.3 divided by 23 by 8. So, that is equal to 10 times this 8 goes to numerator you will get it as 0 0.8. Total current is 0 0.8. So, we got I as 0 0.8 amperes. Now, do not try to find out I1 and I2. Reason is if I is 0 0.8, I1 plus I2 must be equal to 0 0.8 because I is equal to I1 plus I2. So, which will give you 0 0.8 among these two? Option C will give us 0 0.4, option A will give us 0 0.8, therefore option A is correct. No hesitation, right away I can write. No need to find out once again the current using current, current divider rule. It is a straight simple logic. Understanding this dear students? Yes, please make a note of this. Now, let us discuss next problem. The problem is like this. A given four terminal network is a part of larger circuit. The points A, B, C are at same potential. The potential difference between any one of the points A or B or C and D is 40 volts. Potential difference between A and O is 
ऑप्शन ए टेन वोल्ट ऑप्शन बी फिफ्टीन वोल्ट ऑप्शन सी एटीन वोल्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज ट्वेंटी वोल्ट this dear students a b c d is a part of network and remember what they have given is potential difference between any one of a or b or c and d is 40 volts a or b or c and d that means to say a b c are in the same potential you can see here a b c they are in the same potential that means to say i can rewrite the circuit like this let me write a here a this is b this is a this is b and this is c a b c are at the same potential that means to say i can say this is r this is r and this is r and of course this is definitely o so therefore i can join all the three and call this as point o the analysis of the circuit is the most important part so this is clearly equal to o and d is a different potential let us call this as d so d is a different potential no doubt that is also r the question is potential difference between a r b r c these three that is this voltage is clearly 40 volt right do you agree with me the question is potential difference between a and o a and o are, are the same that is equal to b and o that is equal to c and o what is this particular voltage voltage across this particularly this one is a question do you agree with me voltage across this is same as voltage across this this is same as voltage across this now what is the equivalent resistance of these three dear students equivalent resistance of these three is r by 3 because this is r this is r this is r so equivalent resistance is r by 3 if this is r by 3 and this is r then the voltage should be divided into the ratio 1 by 3 is to 1 i'll repeat this once again the ratio is resistance is this combination will give us r by 3 and if this is giving us r by 3 as this is r the voltage division should be equal to 1 by 3 is to 1 do you agree with me r1 is to 3 can you divide 40 in the ratio 1 is to 3 that is simple 10 is to 30 do you agree with me 40 if divided in the ratio 1 is to 3 it should be 10 is to 30 therefore voltage between v a o that is v a o must be equal to 10 and v o d must be equal to 30 we don't need that so voltage between a and o in simple terms is equal to 10 volts 10 volts option a is correct see how simple it is we are just using basic logic and we are not finding out current we are not even finding out resistance also we are just looking into the circuit using ratio problems ratio concepts in solving the problem this is how the problem should be solved in cet dear students <music>